Hi, in this module we will see the Python string. Python string has lots of things, but in this module we will only discuss these modules. At first we will give you the brief introduction of Python string. Then after that we will see how we can define a string. There are basically two ways to define a string. After that we will mix both of the syntax and we will produce some error and then we will show you how we can protect that error. We will discuss how we can define the multi-line strings and with it the escape sequence also. Then we will go for a string indexing. To access the particular index position value, we will use the default python help to know more about the string things. And then we will use some of the method on is string capitalization. We will change the existing still to capital format and after that we will check a little bit with raw format of a string and finally we will discuss the review and summary which will be the complete summary of all the topics and this is really important at the end. Thank you. Let's get started. All the notes of this tutorial are accessible through myfewsteps.blogspot.com. You can go there and you can check over there under Python section. In this video, we will see about Python string and string literals. So Python strings uh, basically is a data type and it is marked with in Python str and string is supported in Unicode. And we know that Python 3, uh, the source code encoding format is UFT8. And strings are a sequence of Unicode code points. This looks like character, but basically uh, these are not real characters and strings are immutable which means we cannot change uh, a string once we define but we can create or produce by modification of that string and then assign to other variable. A string has a popular constructor it is called a string constructor and it is marked with str and parenthesis and this is used for represent a string from other type and these are the more or less about the python string and python strings are represented either single quote or double quote that means if we put anything inside this single quote or inside this double quote uh, we can use uh, this we can define that as a string but we cannot mix mess okay we must have to be consistent so let's define on a string now suppose we want to define a character as a string so this is a and we are putting inside uh, the double uh, single quote a uh, which represents this is a string uh, based on the definition which you saw, uh, we use double quote or single quote and then after that if we execute, we see that it is a string, it is printing the string. We might have multiple characters like hello and if we execute again, we are seeing it is returning the same thing. So this is a string. A string can be a line of sentence also like hello, how are you? For example, how are you? are you so this is basically an expression or sentence something like that and then we mark with a quotation mark if we execute it and we are seeing that here it is printing as a string okay so this is one way to represent a string by single quote and if we try to use double quote we can also use that suppose for example hello we uh, we put a word inside double quote and if we execute this thing again it is printing the string hello okay you can also express uh, the sentence also like this inside this double quote how are you suppose for example and then if we execute it is showing you that this is also a string okay so we can also define uh, here actually uh, here we are seeing in and out that means here whatever we are putting and it is giving you the same thing as a return okay but if you want to print the string how, we have to use some method like print and then inside it we can define the string how are you how are you suppose the for example this thing and if we execute this thing it is showing uh, how are you so here there is no out that means uh, it is giving us the output and it is printing and we also mentioned one other thing that we uh, we cannot actually mix okay these two things we cannot mix to uh, represent a string suppose uh, for this case suppose the string is high but we put single quote at the beginning and at the end we are putting double quote okay so if we try to execute it it will give us an error like file and then the file name something 
line on high and it is marked over here there is an error 45 error it is a syntax error ul oi scanning is still literal that means in python we cannot mix uh, like single code double code all together to represent the string okay so we must have to be unique or we must to have to be consistent we can either use single quote or double quote to define the string so far we saw uh, the single line string okay but if our string is multiple line then what will happen so let's try on uh, on example like our string is few steps so this is our multi line is, is uh, like multi line string so we can define it inside a uh, quote previously we defined so we are typing few steps like this inside the code and if we try to execute let's see what will happen so it is giving us an error that uh, here it is not supported so for multi-line st uh, string we have to use uh, three code three uh, single code or three double code so for that case suppose our i told you three starting code end code and now we can define like few steps okay tutorial for example so here we define multiple lines but it, it it starts with three single code and ends with three code and then if we try to execute now it will give us uh, the output okay and there is no error and here we are see if you uh, check there is one important thing here slash n escape character n so here it is showing slash n that means it is a new line okay in this way it is showing us and here we use single code we can also use uh, double quote three times uh, to define multiple line of the string so let's uh, check one more thing so here we will define on multi line like a v c for example our string is something like that and if we try to execute uh, shift enter and then we are seeing yes it is printing the whole thing and there is no in, uh, error so like single line uh, we can also define multiple lines of a string but uh, for multiple line we just have to use either three code or three double code at the beginning and end okay so now here uh, we are defining this thing and it is showing that we slash n this thing now let's uh, if we want to pr uh, print this thing how will it will be printed let's check so I, what i'm doing i'm copying this thing and i will assign into a variable like variable a equal that thing okay i defined a variable a and inside it i pasted all the string uh, multi-line string it, which is uh, covered with uh, three double quote and if we try to execute uh, it will not execute anything and now if we want to print print a then let's see what is happening here so let's execute and we're seeing it is showing abc that multi-line uh, string is showing so but here whenever we're uh, trying without printing it is actually uh, converted this thing with slash n this way okay and we can also convert we can also print the single line string suppose this two string we can also define on variable like variable s equal for example the string is like xyz and we can also print print s and if we try to execute it will oh sorry there actually i did a mistake so here it should be print inside uh, the parentheses the string should be printed and if we execute it is printing the output xyz so in this way we can also uh, print the string and one of the common thing uh, which i use uh, in a string a string constructor this is called a string constructor i also mentioned at the beginning uh, a string constructor so what it is doing it is actually used to represent a string from other type defined on variable like uh, x equal to 100 this is a number definitely right so and now we'll convert uh, this number to a string and uh, we can convert with the string constructor str and then say it we are putting x and suppose uh, we are putting uh, this in a variable result equal a string okay then if we execute now we define the variable result now we want to print print result and if we try to execute we we'll see that it successfully converted uh, that number to a string so basically this str is used to uh, convert from one type to other type as a string so we saw we can define a string inside a code okay but what will happen if uh, we need to uh, print this code also so how can we define this code in a string so that is uh, for that case we use escape sequence escape
So we really escape sequence. For escape sequence, basically, uh, it will escape some of the character. Okay, so how can we do that? We have to use uh, a right slash, uh, this thing. Okay, this is used as escape sequence. Okay, so for example, our, our string is like, this is a quote in a string. Okay, so we want to um, type uh, this quote. Okay, so what we can do, we can type a right slash and then it will escape uh, this thing and it will define as a string, it will escape this thing. Okay, so if we want to execute this thing, then we'll see, yes, it is showing this is the whole string. But if you want to print this thing, how can we do? Uh, we can define it in a variable. Suppose I'm copying this thing, and copy, and then I'm defining a string, s1, for example, uh, we're typing this thing and then after that uh, if i want to print print then s1 and then if you to execute then it will show you uh, that it is printing this thing this is a escape in a string okay so in this way we can escape a uh, couple of uh, special character suppose we want to escape uh, this line how can we do we just need to uh, double type uh, this right slash so let's create another string s2 and then I'm copying, uh, I'm just pasting the previous one. And then here, instead of this, our target is to print this escape. Okay. And then I'm executing this thing. And then I'm trying to uh, print S2. S2. And if we hit enter, uh, shift enter, uh, then we'll find that this is a escape in a string. Okay. So in this way, we can use escape sequence uh, to escape a couple of uh, uh, special character. We mentioned earlier that a string is a sequence type, right? Sequence type. Okay, so if it's a string is a sequence type, then we can also access any of the position of this string by this index position. So basically, we can use some things like a string name, a string name, uh, a string name, and then we have to put in index position over there. And here we are using a square bracket index. So in this way, we can actually access each position of this. Uh, string okay so let me show you an example then we can understand okay so so i'm going to uh next line so suppose uh our string is like uh my string is uh s7 for example i define a variable s7 and my string is few steps okay so this is our string okay so i told you that uh, we can actually uh, access each string position each string is a sequence like and it's still, uh, the sequence is starts from zero. This is if position is zero, then e position is one, two in this way. Okay, so if you want to uh, check what is the uh, first uh, uh, like first position, first position is a head zero, right? If uh, what is the first position of this string, then you can also uh, use this format, right? So let me uh, call this S7 and then inside it, I want to go to the first position, that means number zero. Okay, and if we execute, then we'll find that first position is f right this is zero i told you uh, string is just from zero instead of one zero one two three four five six like this way so suppose i want to uh check what is the th uh like zero one two second uh this is third position right one two three third position but the is uh, index should be uh, position minus one right what is the uh, character of that position okay so this is the third position right so we can put a seven then 2 because this position is uh, index is uh, 2 0 1 2 so I'm typing 2 and then I'm executing it and it is showing W okay so in this way we can access uh, the string character uh, by using the index okay so this is the uh, actual syntax string name and then inside it we have to type the index inside a square bracket now uh, we check many things now we want to check what is the type of the string the string type uh, let me check so to check the type we can uh, use uh, the method type and inside it we can uh, type some string like like suppose i am typing some string i okay and then if we execute then we'll see this is a string type which we mentioned earlier right it's at the beginning what we told strings in python have data type str so it is printing that str so here also we manipulated uh, this in this position okay or we defined some other string like s2 this is a string okay let me check also what is that uh, type uh, this is s2 variable okay so i am typing s2 and then i'm executing and it is also giving us str so whatever we did till now all string are str data type okay and this is the type we can check in that way and uh, there are many functions of string and there are many formats uh, we'll 
discuss those later but for this tutorial we just learned what is string and what are the basic things of string so if you type a command help and inside it if you type str because this is a type we want to check what is the uh, help available or method or everything is available in this strings and if we type help str and if we execute then we'll find a lot of help i mean a lot of things uh, this is the string uh, class this object and here also mentioned is help or class str in module finalist there are many methods uh, at the beginning just ignore this thing just go at the down and you'll see a lot of methods are there okay so here there are a lot of methods so you can use any of the methods uh, for using this thing so let me show you one thing like for example i want to capitalize uh, this string like we have a string like few steps like uh, this is okay let me print that thing for, uh, this we define in s7 okay so if we type s uh, print print uh, and inside it s7 and if we execute it will give us uh, this thing now we want to capitalize this thing and there is some method uh, here it, it, if we scroll then we'll find this is called capitalize something like that let me check So here, this is the capital S. Okay, so the, we can use this method. So let uh, we uh, let uh, let us convert uh, this thing to capital S. Right now, also a small ca character. Okay, so I'm do doing print, and then uh, we have to type this method right capital S, right? So S dot C A P I T A L I Z T capital S, and this is a method here. It is completely mentioned. This is capital S method. And if we execute this thing, let's see what will happen. So it is showing uh, X, Y, Z. Basically, uh, we have to change because it's S7. So I'm going to uh, change S7 and then try to execute again. And it's showing that few steps. Now everything is capitalized. So there are many methods also. There is also uh, you can make all capital something like that. There are many methods uh, like find uh, index uh, this thing. Uh, you can check so for this tutorial uh, uh, we just uh, discussed uh, this thing and another uh, important thing which i forgot to mention that string also supports uh, raw format okay so to define any string and uh, raw format uh, we can actually uh, use r and then uh, we have to use code and instead is we have to define the string the string so this is used for raw format raw string if it's a Windows computer, if you want to define uh, on file, we actually have to define like this way. Okay, uh, we must have to put double slash, otherwise it will not work. Okay, so if it is single uh, dot, a uh, single slash, it will not work. So every time we have to type in this way. So uh, whenever the path is long, every time if we uh, like type in this way, uh, there is a very high chance that we will do mistake. Okay, so for this case, Python has a good thing. So instead of double slash, we, what we can do, we can use R and quote mark at the beginning and end and put the actual path with single slash okay and if you execute this thing it will show you the exact path see here it is converting the whole thing into any things that means python supports uh, the raw format okay so that's all for this tutorial here we learned a lot of things basically uh, so at first we uh, defined what is this thing and we saw that this thing is a data type of python and then we used we actually saw how to define a string we can define a string either single quote or double quote and if it is multi-line then we can we have to use uh, the single quote at the beginning three times and at the end three times uh, or we can also use this but uh, to define a string we cannot actually uh, mix like on single quote and the double quote we cannot do that we must have to be consistent and a string is a sequence of unicode uh, points and you can also access uh, the sequence by putting the index uh, we saw here like this is a string and then we put the index position and it is giving us uh, that index position value and the index position is just from zero and then it goes continuously zero one two three like this way okay it never starts from one and then uh, we use a string uh, constructor this method we use that uh, using this method we can convert from other data to a string format data and finally we can also uh, check all the methods of a string by typing the command help str and also we can uh, do one other thing we can actually uh, use raw form uh, we can also represent raw formatted data by uh, using r and 
single quote or double quote anything is fine thank you for watching the video of python string if you want more like this type of video please like comment and share with your friends and you can also subscribe to our channel to support us thank you for watching Thank you.